Hello everybody, welcome back to the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. If it is your first time here, please click the subscribe button and the notification tab. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to help us get out and about, why not become a member? It is as little as a dollar. We are in Singapore. We've been showing a lot of gardens because that's what you come to Singapore for. The gardens are all man-made gardens as well, or most of them are. We're about to go into the flower dome. We've already been into the cloud forest. If you miss that, you can click on the link above. It'll take you to that. But now it is time for the flower dome. It's gonna blow you away. Let's get inside because it's a lot cooler in there than out here. Let's do it. I'm not saying anything because there's nothing much to say. It's just mind-blowing that this is on reclaimed land from the ocean. Yes, the ocean used to be here. This dome has no supporting streams or beams uh, anywhere along it. It is literally a pretty much a freestanding dome. Uh, all man-made, all self-sufficient, captures the rainwater on the dome, feeds it into the plants. Just amazing. Singapore has pretty much reopened to tourism, opened their country completely. Though the restrictions still apply with the face masks, as you've just heard, uh, they've had a, a very big uh, loss of life throughout COVID, but uh, Singapore doesn't have really any industries that it relies on apart from tourism. So it was important that it reopened again as soon as it could. Now's the opportunity. There's not many tourists here though. People, it seems, are a bit scared to go traveling again. Well, you should get on a plane and start supporting countries and people again, uh, because this is just a magnificent. Yeah, you've got to wear a mask, but it's not much to ask. Now there is a lot of different regions in this parkland or in this dome. There's Australia, America, every country in the world pretty much has its own little section within this dome. How they are able to make the plants grow from all around the globe, from different climates in this one place is just magnificent. I, I, I don't even want to consider how they do it or try to figure out how they do it. I can't even grow weeds, so, you know. And here we are at the Australian Garden. It's like being back at home. <laughs> in fact, the Australian Garden here is uh, more greener and healthier than what all the gardens in Australia are at the moment.
And of course, in the Australian garden, a nice little bit of French music, of course. I don't see the connection there, but of course. What have we got here? Is that gelatin wax, potentially? No, that's not gelatin wax. So it is called the flower dome because certain times of the year, well depending on the region, of course the flowers bloom and blossom. There might be some as we get uh, lower down. The bottle brush, well known in Australia. Shame that uh, you do have to wear your mask in here though because these smells, I just got a whiff of smell then, it was so strong it managed to get through my mask. Beautiful floral, floral smells, lovely. And of course this gets you out of the heat of Singapore. <laughs> We're struggling with the heat this time around, I have to say. Everybody take pictures of these, so I might as well. <laughs> Obviously very popular. Also, in case you haven't noticed, and I'm not doing it, then I could potentially give you some information, but it is, there's an audio description as you go along. So for example, we're at number 39 here. You can download an app. And literally, as you get to all the different regions, just press the button associated with the sign. Uh, I think it might even auto-trigger sometimes as well, and uh, you'll be able to hear all about these particular plants, the regions, how they brought them here, all the interesting stuff. Look at the giraffe in there. You always have to look around here. There is always something hidden away. And as we get to the ground floor, they usually have a display for something on the ground floor. I don't know what the display is going to be this year. We shall find out when we get down there. Interesting. Very interesting. Orange is the colour of the year for me. I don't know why, just I like everything orange this year. I'm a big orange fan. Now if you want to hear about the domes, Check out the cloud forest video because uh, I gave you a little bit of information there. South American garden. Okay, what's South America got to offer us? Something orange again. Oh, this smells amazing. God, I want to take off my mask. I don't think COVID could even live in here, could it? These plants would be like the, the natural self-defense to go, oi! Uh, South American viewers, is this uh, is this South American for you? Do let me know. I think we've got a bit of a viewing platform here.
This is a highlight. This is what we're looking at down here. Down here, this is what we're looking at. You're going to have to hang around to see that. That'll be this month's theme. They change the theme every month. So whatever it is, when you come and visit, the next time you come visit, it'll be something completely different again. The last time I came here, it was the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. <laughs> I will be filming this in 360 degree video as well. So do check the channel. It may be up by the time you watch this video. If you watch it in a few years time, it may not be if you watch this as soon as I upload it. So uh, just stay on the channel, wait to see it in 360 where you will be able to control the camera, move it around and have a better look at what you want to see rather than me just pointing this camera at me most of the time and at flowers occasionally. I don't understand. People are looking at like people are people are standing like near near nothing. And they're so I don't know. They must be going this is like they must know what it is. I don't know what it is. A goose with a golden egg. Looking very protective there. Do not steal my egg. Something that we uh, love to do here in Singapore is walk upstairs. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's okay inside in the dome, but when you're outside in a billion degree temperatures and a squillion degrees humidity, it does get a bit much, but in here it's okay. There is, if you have got a wheelchair, they can open that up or uh, bring you upstairs if you are. Oh, the smell up here is so strong. Oh. It's amazing. These are kumquats. I didn't know that because I read the sign. It's all right, don't, you're not going to catch me out. Yeah? Don't go, Mark does know a lot about it. No, Mark doesn't. Mark just read the sign. Fennel, beetroot, blackberry. So all the different herbs. Yes, they are herbs, they are not herbs. If you say herbs, stop saying it, they're herbs. Okay, herbs, they've got an H, herbs. Oh, these smell amazing. Oh, I can't begin to tell you what. Actually, we should have a look at the dome up here. Look at the dome. Not a single supporting beam. Just amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not
Well, these people uh, light up their shots so perfectly for the photos and here we are using the DJI Action 2 where we don't actually need to because it's got digital stabilization on it it's like yeah whatever They got, a, they got a truck down there. All right, let's do this. Let's get down there. We need to get down there. We need to get down there. N now. Not soon. N now. We are really popping into the colour now. Beautiful blues. Real sad looking bear over there. Olive oil. Apparently this is olive oil. Well, there you go. My mum and Pauline are going to be screaming at the screen going, Ah, oh, this is this and this is this and this is this. Why don't you know these plants? Well, my dad used to be very good with plants. Again, always look in the garden. There's always something to see, a little statue or something poking away. As we're down on ground level now, this is where the flowers come into play. This is why it's called the Flower Dome. Take a picture of a random woman there. Why not? Oh, which way to look? I don't know, which way to look? What do you prefer? Do you prefer the white or the pink? There's some fairies up there. Am I supposed to give you close-ups of the flowers? I'm guessing so. I'm guessing that's what it's all about. You want to look at the pretty colours of the flowers. <laughs> he is so romantic, she is so mean. <laughs> it was like, I love you, and she's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs>
If I am going too quick, zooming through this, keep an eye out for the 360 degree video. Or just pause it. That's what you gotta do, just, just pause the video as, as we go along. You might go, hey, I like that particular plant, flower, bush. Or screenshot it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I got excited about that. Yeah, screenshot it. Yeah, and give yourself a wallpaper on the computer. Well, yeah. Whatever, man. Like, yeah. They're stunning, those blue things, whatever they are. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the central attraction. This is the bit that people come for, the bit that changes every month. We're going to zigzag around in it. That's why I was in a rush to get down here. This is what you want to see when you come to the Flower Dome. And before I start at the Flower Dome, I'm going to even change the battery to ensure that we don't run out of battery while we're looking at this amazing exhibition. So, with a click of the fingers, we will be back. Oh, my mum is gonna be so happy that uh, the display this year, or this month, is roses. Love roses in the family, very, very much so. So, uh, there you go, mum, I've deliberately come to Singapore just to show you this. Honestly, no other reason. You're okay. No, you're right. <laughs> Bumping into one another here, trying to get the best shot. We're in competition. This lady's, this lady's going, oh, where are you? Hi. Soft roll, rock and roll. Rock and roll, how are you? I'm doing good. Good. <laughs> this lady's going, I'm going to get better shots than you. Just amazing. This is something to say, is it? There is absolutely nothing to say. Just stunning. Look at the Vespa, oh my goodness. Everybody taking a, uh, a photo there, Picari sweat, very popular drink. <laughs> Here's a nice one. Well, they're all nice. Let's go to this one up here. Mm -hmm. 
You could be anywhere in the world, couldn't you? If you took a photo here, never told anybody where you were, I don't think they'd be able to, I don't think they'd even be able to guess. Absolutely stunning. I love these sort of roses that are very tight. Australia has a lot to learn. But um, magically scooting around people to try not get in their shot or, or uh, me in theirs. Uh, which way are we going? We've got to go this way now. Different way. There's all different directions you can go. You could literally spend all day in here, but I do have other things to do. Just the smell is just extraordinary. Extraordinary, he says. Am I wrong in saying that roses are very hard to, to grow? Somebody do let me know. <laughs> no, you're right. I keep getting in everybody's way. They're, they're taking the perfect selfie and then I walk in front of them with my camera. It's like, ah! The other good thing about Singapore is, they don't say to you, turn off the camera, you can't do this. They don't do that here. They go, we are beautiful and we want, to, we want everybody to see it. We want everybody to see how spectacular we are as a country and how good we are at doing things. They're, they're the best. They're the best. I would even say they're better than Japan at doing uh, displays and building things. And you reckon they've got to change them every day? Strangers in the night. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's a song that's being played, but it's what's stuck in my head uh, at the moment. Crazy, 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 crazy. You'll see what I'm saying crazy about when we get here. I want to get it all in, in one shot. There.
crazy. I, I now understand why they're playing French music. <laughs> With this one particular scene, I now understand completely. Oh, wouldn't you just love a garden like that, sitting out? And they have a croissant. Or a beagle. I don't care how long these videos are going for. It's like, you, you can't capture it in two minutes. This is huge! That is the biggest hibiscus I've seen in my life. It's like as big as my head. And trust me, my head's very big. It is. It's very big. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, that was the Flower Dome at Marina Bay on reclaimed land from the ocean. Just stunning. Uh, going to record in 360 degree video now and uh, I'm also going to be showing you a bit in 360 degrees that you never saw in this video, which is up there. It's just, I don't want to walk up there now. <laughs> I want to start from here and walk up there. That's what I want to do. So if you want to see that check out the 360 degree video wherever you are in this big white wonderful world have a great morning afternoon evening or night we'll see you again soon potentially on the i'm all abroad youtube channel I'm traveling around taking